G'day comrade subscribers. So I'm continuing on learning programming <laughs> with uh, chat GPT. So I've got um, I've got my trusty programmer's reference guide and I've also got three copies of Vic Revealed by Nick Hampshire but I'm not sure which is the latest copy. That one says it's the new edition corrected and revised but it's in a bit of a bad shape. So but um, I'm starting to understand how it all works now. So reading in here, I'm understanding why it's not working with ChatGPT, why it's nothing being shown, because it actually says in here that um, a white heart should appear in the middle of the screen. So for example, so what are we getting is a white ball on a white background. <laughs> so that's why it's not working. So... That's why we need to um, poke the color into the um, into the color RAM. So yep, so appendix E, screen memory maps. So this is the screen memory. So in one of the earlier iterations, it told me to poke the um, the three K uh, RAM expansion, which doesn't exist. So that's why I've corrected it. Uh, and then we've got here the color code, so screen memory. So this is what's missing. So this is this is working, but setting the color, we need to set the color to correspond like that. So we'll see if I can teach chat GPT. So it, yeah, obviously <laughs> I don't think chat GPT 3.5 for sure is, is gonna put any uh, Vic 20 basic programmers out of a job, but I'm, I'm finding it interesting to, um, it's making me think and it's making me learn because I, I grew up on Amstrad. Um, so poking stuff all over the place like you do on Commodore is all quite um, quite strange to me. But I'm learning, I'm learning. So let's see how we go. Right, let's see. So I've made one small correction. The screen memory. I've, I've, I've got it so that it's the, the actual screen, screen memory on line 50. So I'm using, I thought I'd just use the VICE emulator. So, so we've got it list, uh, so we've got it all programmed in. And as we know, so we're clearing the screen by setting uh, space to all the RAM, but we're not seeing anything still. And that's because I'd say, uh, so I've already told it, so here we go, yeah, here we go. It's still not working. We need to change the color of the ball from white. So what it's done is what it reckons it's done is it set it to color five here. But the problem is that's still the screen memory. So that's where we're actually poking the character. So it's actually just poking in the character five, uh, which I guess is a pet ski. So is it, it's not a screen code, is it? It's a ASCII and character codes. Yeah, so it's, yeah, anyway. So I reckon that should still be what it was, which I think it was 143. Supposed to be a ball or something like that. Screen codes. Where was it? What was 143? Here goes the postie. 143, no. Character door. 147, clear home. Okay. ASCII character codes, no that's not it. Anyway, what was it? Let's, so I think we need to fix that back to, yeah, one. it was 143, okay. So I'll see if I can still teach. Um, you need to set the ball color by, by, let's say poking the, let's see if it knows about the color RAM. So I go back to the color, color, or do I have to misspell it? Color, 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 RAM, location, let me give it, so 384,000 to, it did actually list it here, wasn't it? 384,000, or I'll just add 21 to that, so 38905, 
five. Does that sound right? Let me uh, let me just pause and double check. Okay, so I think it's to three eight nine oh five. What three eight nine oh five? I stop apologizing. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, okay. All right. So, well, that just said everything is blue, though. Um, all right. So, uh, you, can you do renumber in on the? I don't think you can do renum on on the basic Vic. You need the um, the additional. Program is advanced program, or something, don't you? All right, so so list 50. Okay, list 50. There we go. So if we just stick it in at 55, then for i equals 3840 to 38905, whoop, poke i5. Next I. Um, let's see what that does. Uh huh. Still nothing. Because you're not doing it right, are you? It's got to be down here, doesn't it? So, if I reckon. Um, line 60 pokes the color ramifications to set the color of the ball to five. Um, no, you, let's switch over here. Let's see if I can do, uh, where am I typing? You should set the color color, yeah, misspelled, um, at the same time that you print the ball. Let's see if that'll make it, put it in the right, oh yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, line 80 prints the ball at the specified position and sets it color at the same time. Okay. Now, maybe. <laughs> now, maybe. List 80. All right. So we want to go, and then we want to also poke x plus y times 22 plus 384,000. Well, 384, 38,400. Okay, it's obsessed with blue. Okay. Let's see if that works. <laughs> and it turns up green. <laughs> and okay. So we're we just going to go around the corners, are we? No? There we go. So it's not really touching the corners because once it gets to one, it, oh, 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 oh. okay, still a problem. So what are we, it's, it's, it's 22 columns wide. So we're not hitting, we're not hitting up the top. And when we get to the side there, we are bouncing over to the other side. Okay, well it is kind of working. So we've got an inverse. <laughs> I, I wonder, okay. All right, let me see. Uh, the color of the ball is green, not blue. All right, let's see if that'll fix it. Let's correct the color to blue, color code six instead of green. All right, so green is, green is color code five, but you need to poke six in, I think, or something that says that. All right, so let's list 80. All right, let's change it to a six. Okay, let's run that again. There we go. Okay, it is disappearing down in that corner and we're not making it all the way up 
to here. Yeah. So when we're doing, all right, let me, all right, let me pause this and let me have a think about it. Okay. Let's continue. So I've had to think about it and I realize what the issue is. So let's see if we can teach chat GPT. So obviously when we are poking the location, X plus Y times 22. So the very first location in uh, the screen, screen RAM is actually 7680. But the minimum we're ever going to get is X equals 1 and Y equals 1. So that means one plus one, or one. Basically, we're never going to get the kind of the zero. We're never going to get to seven six eight zero because this value here will always be greater than one, or greater than zero. So I think we should set the minimum to be x equals zero, and also if y equals zero, I think we should set those two, and that'll fix the the upper left corner. So. Let's see if we can tell, if we can get ChatGPT to figure that out. Uh, the ball is not reaching the top left corner. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. When x equals 1 and y equals 1. Don't apologize, don't apologize. Oh, of course I'm right doesn't account for the boundary condition when the ball reaches the top left corner. Okay. Yep. Okay. Cool. 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 Yep. That's what I thought it was going to do. Very good. All right. So it wants us to change that and change that. Um, yep. And change that. Okay. All right. Now let's see. That's looking better. Much better. Shall I let it run for an hour so that we uh, let's see if we can do this warp. Okay, <laughs> turn the warp off. Yep, so we're doing that corner properly as well. Ooh, <laughs> that's that uh, the DVD thing, isn't it? When it reaches the corner, you watch for it. There we go. So I think, so the interesting thing now would be if ChatGPT has learned from this and would get it right the first time um, in future. So... Let's just so it was originally 200. I've changed it down to 100. Let's see if we can make it. Um, let's see if 50 makes it a bit faster. What do you reckon? Is that smooth? There we go. So, after a bit of work, it's kind of got itself, it's figured it out with a, with a bit of prodding. But I've, for me, I've I've learnt I've learnt a bit as well. Um, I've never really done any programming on the Vic, so this has been quite interesting for me actually, as well. So that's working. So I get, I'm thinking the next step would be to see, convert it to assembler, uh, see if it can convert it to uh, Vic twenty uh, assembler. That would be interesting. But yeah, so so far, it's working. Let's um, let me start a new one. Do I do that? Let's start. Okay. Let's see if it'll come up with the same thing. Um, write a. I'll just say a Vic twenty. I'll change it. Write a Vic twenty program to bounce a ball around the screen. Okay. Let's see. So. Uh, Okay, something completely different. <laughs> Bouncing ball animation. So this probably is maybe more, yeah, see, what is it? Oh, 20, so x equals 1 or x equals 29. Okay. 
So 36879, 36869, 36879, where is that? That all right, I'm just trying I'm just trying to quickly find the memory map. Zero page. No, it's definitely not zero page. Where was it in Vic Reveal? There was a nice picture of the memory map. Uh da 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 three six eight seven zero is the light pen. Three six eight seven nine. Three six eight seven eight. Three six eight seven nine. Okay, so three six three six eight seven nine is the screen and border colour register. Okay, so setting the screen and border colour. Three six eight six nine. Three six eight six nine is the start of character memory. Okay. What are we doing? We're we're poking. Okay. Default. Okay, and then three six eight six four. Three six eight six four is okay. So address of Vic chip registers. So bit zero to six, uh, the horizontal centering, and bit seven sets the interlace scan. So that's just the horizontal centering. Okay. Weird. Okay, then we clear the screen and we poke 36869. 36869. Start of character memory with the X and 6. 36864. I don't think that's going to work. Let's try one more chat. <laughs> um, hmm. One more. Um, write a Vic twenty program to bounce my ball. And then we've come up with something completely different again. <laughs> um, so no, it hasn't learned anything. It hasn't learned anything. So we've got Y equals one to a thousand. That's is a different way of doing it, which is interesting. So it's a different way of doing it. Um, but the problem is this here. I think is is again it's the wrong wrong memory location, and then we clear it. That's a long time to have it on the screen. Yeah. So there we go. So no, um, ChatGPT hasn't learned anything <laughs> from what I've taught it. But I've managed to, it, it allowed me to, to write this program and then also correct it and also learn a bit. So yeah, I think we'll leave it there and then we'll try see if part three. We'll see if it'll do it in an assembler for us. Okay. Bye for now.